Right now, a group of Colorado Republicans are apparently trying to get rid of the party's GOP chair. Now, this is interesting. So this after Dave Williams sent out emails tied to Pride Month that some called hateful, calling for people to burn all pride flags. And a lot of people within the party didn't like what happened here. Lisa D'Souza is on it with more. And the process, Lisa, is very interesting how this would work. Right, it's kind of bizarre because he would be a big part of the process itself, and I'll get into those details here in just one moment. But just like I said, a lot of Republicans are speaking out against this, saying this really isn't what the party stands for, and they believe they have the votes that it will take to oust him from his position as a GOP chair. So let's get into the details of how all of this would work. Basically, a special meeting would have to be called by the Colorado State Central Committee. A group of Republicans say they've gotten the signatures from more than 25% of committee members. That's enough to force this meeting. In order to remove GOP Chair Dave Williams, at least 60% of members at the meeting, they'll need to vote in favor of his removal. And some prominent Republicans say they're confident that they will reach that 60%. Meantime, Williams himself would be the one getting the request for this meeting. He would be the person tasked with choosing the date, time and place because of his standing as a GOP chair. Williams is currently running for the Colorado's congressional, 5th Congressional District, as many know, the very same district where the horrific Club Q nightclub shooting took place. Now, Williams also has an endorsement from former President Donald Trump. We reached out to his office for comment and the gist was we were told that his newsletter is really his only statement for this issue. So we have more details on that up on our website. Just click on a link to the story. For now, we're live at the Colorado GOP headquarters. Lisa D'Souza, Fox 31. All right, Lisa, thank you.